Nigga, I, oh my god, I actually be home kid. Nigga, I fucking uh, I fucking. Whoops. I fucking um, I try to close Roblox and fucking click. Bro, shouldn't there be a prompt to tell me that? Oh um, um, are you sure you want to close OBS? You're live streaming. Like what the fuck? Wind and the two began to battle once more. Granola progressively improving throughout. The two seemed to be evenly matched as Granola landed a devastating blow to Gas, knocking him out long enough to get a moment's rest, but knowing full well that the battle was far from over. Attempting to avoid a loss, Elec appears and rips a necklace from Gas's neck, which was used to maintain a killer instinct of the heaters to avoid rampaging and losing their sense of self. Gas then powers up into a rage monster, similar to that of. Kale in Universe 6, I rampaging see. across planet Serial and demolishing Granola with ease. Damn. Gas then sets his sights on Vegeta for some odd reason, beating the already wounded Saiyan to a pulp forcing Goku to cut in and save him. The oh look that God. Goku gave Gas reminded him of his battle with Bardock, <laughs> causing him to have an awakening, reverting back to his regular state, but this time, stronger than ever. Gas sets his sights on Goku and Vegeta, paralyzing them with a glance. Knowing now who murdered his mother though, Granola spots Elec and attempts to kill him, but Gas intervenes, shattering Granola's arms and taking out both of his eyes. Damn. Injured and unable to continue, he falls onto Elec, I, 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 who gets know, one last fuck. taunting comment I know, like, we just like were introduced with, to this fucking mid ass character, but my nigga, you were, bro, you wish you, you had basically your entire lifespan stripped away from you to become the strongest nigga. You're still not the strongest thing. How does that work, bro? Them Dragon Balls are shit. In before blasting Granola through the back with oh my the god. same weapon he killed his mother dude. with, oh leaving my god. Goku, Vegeta, and Manito in awe as he descended <laughs> into the ocean. On yeah. Realizing the horrible the situation gun? they're in, Fat Vegeta lab. gives Goku the remainder of his energy, leaving nigga, that fucking gun is a linear gender. Holy shit! the battle with oh my god. Goku powers he up to Super Saiyan Blue, with that enraged at the fall of Granola, but realizing intense emotion will hinder his Ultra Instinct. The battle commences, but Gas's strength is too much for the Saiyan to handle. He mentions that Bardock's combat skills were like no other, but he doesn't sense that same energy from Goku. All hope seemed lost, but in the distance, Goku notices that Manaito's pulled Granola from out of the water, healing him as fast as he can. In an attempt to stop any further resistance, Gas attempts to kill Manaito, but Goku latches onto him and uses instant transmission to send them to another location. The battle continues as the warriors move from place to place. We even come across Moro's gang at the Galactic. Right. I, I love Goku, bro, but this was supposed to be Vegeta's fight, man. Like, why did they hold this nigga, bro? So that means Ultra equals mid. That means UI has to be stronger than Ultra Ego. Easily. Easily. The battle's a fierce Isn't one, it? as Goku knows he can't keep playing defense forever. Goku then has the idea to use instant transmission to get to Whis, who's relaxing on an unknown planet. Goku gives Gas the slip, leaving him with Whis and using instant Goku transmission to get back chapters? to planet Serial to buy enough time to heal before Gas arrives. Manido, Goku, and an injured Vegeta and Granola arrive at Manido's safe haven, where he gives Goku Bardock's scouter from 40 years ago. Naturally, the device is broken, but Oatmeal is able to access the circuit directly to play audio from it. The group is able to hear the transmission and the words stay alive from Bardock unlock a core memory from Goku's infancy. With this memory now intact, Goku finally understands what Saiyan pride is all about. While Vegeta Vegeta realizes that his burden isn't with the sins of all Saiyans, but with his people's pride. Goku and Vegeta are healed in time for Gas's return to Planet Serial, ready to begin what we can assume to be the final round. Finally in agreement to fight together, the Saiyans power up, Ultra Ego and Instinct alike, being driven with nothing now other than the sheer desire to win. Goku and Vegeta's combined efforts prove to be enough to avoid being overpowered, but there's still no clear sign of victory as Gas is as strong as ever. In an attempt to in the battle quickly once again, Vegeta hurdles a sphere of destruction towards Gas, but naturally he and Goku are pushed back. Leaving Goku with the destruction energy on his own, Vegeta goes to catch Gas off guard by leaping over to land a devastating blow. His plan of course fails, but Goku is fortunate enough to launch the sphere of destruction into space. Rushing to Vegeta's aid, he notices that he's now landing punches on Gas. The Saiyan reveals once again that the damage inflicted on him is nothing but fuel, as he only gets stronger in all 
ultra ego. Vegeta continues to get pummeled by gas, ordering Goku to stay back as he notices his ultra ego technique is continuing to evolve. Vegeta, however, urges Goku to figure out his own evolution with Ultra Instinct. Until then, he'll continue to battle Gas on his own. Goku reverts to meditation to unlock the true nature behind Ultra Instinct. Nigga, I and thought Vegeta he did that like three arcs ago. Like, what's going on? Back and forth with Gas, taking a beating. Then he master with Moro for more. Vegeta takes a final blow and is presumed unconscious, but gets up for a final round, surprising even Gas himself. This effort, however, proves to be fruitless as the Saiyan Prince rushes to the enemy and passes out from the immense damage on his body before mm. he can throw the last punch. Now mm. unconscious, Gas attempts to kill Vegeta once more, but is stopped by Goku who saves him in the midst of his meditation. Goku emerges, unlocking the best trans- This is, I, I can say this is probably the, as much as this is my favorite anime, I can say this is the most thing I dislike about it. Look, how Vegeta's always, I, Vegeta's not even my favorite character. I don't even like Vegeta like that, but they hold him way too much, bro. This is just, Dicks, uh, formation to make use of his own power, true much. Ultra Instinct. In this form, the Saiyan can use his emotions rather than resorting to a calm heart in order to get the most out of his abilities. The battle with Gas in this form proves that Goku managed to become just barely stronger than him, and the fight continues. Goku puts Gas on the ropes, damaging him far more than the Saiyan pair did in their previous rounds, knocking him to the ground in front of an angered Elec. Elec's condescending and harsh speech towards Gas motivates him to unlock yet another awakening, putting Goku on the ropes once again. The Saiyan notices that Gas's body and power are completely out of sync, which mm. Gas implies that his power has been liberated from his flesh. As mm. the battle between Goku and Gas seem to be on the way to a cinematic conclusion, a burst of energy comes between them. Granola had once again returned to the battlefield, okay. healed of his previous injuries. Okay. Goku and Granola work together to defeat Gas. That was Goku and Granola, not even Goku and Vegeta. Like, come, you can't tell me they don't like this character, bro. Just remove him from the series, bro. As Goku aims oh my to destroy him bro. as long as he can, while Granola oh my charges God, all bro. of his energy into a final shot. Goku eventually passes from the damage done to him by the enemy, leaving Vegeta to intervene for the oh, for final real? moment oh, okay. before the dramatic conclusion. Okay. Just then, Goku's energy and resolve swell as he summons a celestial form similar to the one used to defeat Moro. Goku grabs and flings Gas into space, Big giving Granola Susano. the perfect opportunity to finish him off. Gas is down for the count, and the Saiyan pair rush to Granola's aid, as his final attack took much of his energy using his life force along with it. Manito also goes to Granola's aid, realizing that his powers have increased as well due to the repeated use of his healing ability over time. He restores Granola, Goku, and Vegeta to full strength once again. Elec attempts to escape, assuming all hope is lost with gas, but suddenly, a laser flies straight through Manito's body, sending uh -oh. him crashing to the ground below. Uh -oh. Gas had returned from the brink of death, this time appearing even more monstrous than ever. Goku and Vegeta rush to attack Gas at full strength, but are easily knocked away. Vegeta claims that the power flowing through Gas is like a curse, as if the wish granted in his favor to become the strongest in the universe can't ever go away. In Elec's delight in seeing Gas's impending victory, the other heaters, Mackie and Oil, criticize him, as their comrade is clearly in an abnormal state, and it seemed as though he didn't care. Elec revealed that Gas's lifespan was about to run out, being the deal he made with the wish granting dragon in order to make him the strongest warrior in the universe. To Gas's surprise, he realized that his brother had been using him the entire time in order to further his own goals. Mm. And in the midst of all the chaos and confusion, Frieza himself appeared on Planet Sirius. Do that, bro. I, I need to see this arc. I need to see this arc, Fabulab. I need to see it. Gas goes to attack Frieza, but is killed oh, in an shoot. instant, Damn. everyone, including Goku and Vegeta. Frieza then turns his sights on Elec, who he knew had been conspiring against him for the past 40 years. In one fell swoop, Frieza disintegrates- Nigga, this is not even golden. This is, ba this is base final form. This is base final form. Elec, leaving only Maki and Oil alive. Naturally, Goku and Vegeta ask Frieza how he was able to defeat Gas so easily, as he'd been made the strongest in the universe. Frieza then revealed that he'd been training in a chamber where the flow of this has to be this has to be the bro most broken character in the, like ever in the entire series. Because even even during even during the uh, final resurrection when he got golden, nigga, didn't he say he trained for like? Like a month or two or some shit. I can't remember the exact time. But he had trained for like a month and achieved Super Saiyan Blue level. You know what I'm saying? After these niggas been trading for years. Dog.
This character is broken as fuck. Time was different from broken the outside world. And as a result, trained for a total of 10 years. In oh, the wow. same instance, Frieza revealed his new transformation wow. known as Black Frieza and incapacitated both Goku and Vegeta at the same time in Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego. Damn! Before his departure, Frieza took Mackie and Oil on his ship as a cook and a waiter, leaving Goku and Vegeta to fight another day. Not long after Frieza's departure, Whis appears and restores Minato as a favor to Goku. Whis then asks Goku and Vegeta to leave with him straight away, as Beerus is unable to figure out how to make Yaki Soba. Goku asks Granola if he'd like to join them for training, though he refuses, instead wanting to find the Dragon Balls to fix the damage on Planet Serial. Vegeta hands him the Dragon Radar- He got three years to live anyway, he, what that training gonna do for him? And Minato gives Probably Goku his father's scouter, just before they take their leave. Goku asks Whis if the Oracle Fish's prophecy of the strongest warrior in the universe was referring to Frieza, to which Whis responds that it might be, or maybe it was someone else who emerged in the universe instead. This may not have been the best arc in the manga, but it definitely had its pros, despite what some people may think. I definitely Bro, encourage you- I seen, the, I seen the leaks like hella like all over Twitter, right? I'm seeing go Vegeta go Ultra Ego and everything. I'm thinking he, he know diff this entire arc. I didn't even know Black Freezer came in this arc. Like I'm thinking he, he completely, you know what I'm saying? He got one shot, beat up, in this, in this, in this crazy form. Ugh. They'll never do this character justice. The tournament of power. If these niggas get in, are we going? Are we going to get a fusion of Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct to beat Frieza? Cause like, what else could they pull out at this point? We have to get like, we have to get some sort of some sort of fusion of, of both forms. That'd be low key tough. I know that niggas probably already made splash hearts. Niggas, I know niggas made. Let me see how that would look. Ultra Ego and Ultra. Oh, look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! First thing that came up. Let me see. Let me see how that look. Ooh, I know it. They look tough. I ain't gonna lie to you. They look tough. I like I like this concept with the mm, with the different hair. The, you know the highlights and the hairs and things of that nature. It's low key tough. Ultra Vegeta or Ultra Gogeta. That'd be tough, low key. What else is nigga got? Wait, so is there a Black Freezer? The tournament is there a Black Freezer arc yet? So we just watched. We just, I watched Moral arc all stream. Um, uh, no. So what's going on right now in the manga series? Like, what's what's happening? Like right this moment. If these if these two arcs are over, what's happening? Superhero arc. They fight in Broly and Gohan. Huh? Gohan versus Goku. Where can I find this at? Yo, oh yeah, the Beast Gohan arc. Beast Gohan. Manga animation. Full manga? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Wait, only nine minutes. In case you haven't got one of these yet, the Gohan Beast, then now in front of the stop and stop my video, Lou Bro. So many different ways to pick up this merch line celebrating Go bro, this Gohan. Bro, this is like tweets and shit, bro. You home with this, brother. Nigga, I'm trying to Nigga, I ain't come for those sponsors. Full movie. This gotta be like some fan animation or some shit, no? This shit dropped a day ago. What the fuck? In the battle against Cell Max, Son. Who the fuck is Cell Max? I ain't been keeping. You know, I'm. Not, I've never been a manga type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Cell Max. Who? What the hell? This shit is canon, bro. Is this shit canon, Jack? No way. Wait, so is this actual cell or like a, re a reincarnation? Nigga, this Broly getting fucked up and shit. It's from the movie. Where can I watch this movie at? They remade him. It's a different cell. Okay. Cell Max. I do kind of like how they're bringing back some of these characters. This this looks weird for some reason. I don't know. They This looks weird. This don't, I don't know. Low key, uh, we obviously cannot watch it on stream, so I low key want to end and watch it in Discord. 
I know people want to end and watch the Discord. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do an event in Discord. Let's do an event in Discord. Because I was, about, I was about to end anyway. You know what I'm saying? Let's do an event in Discord. So join up the Discord. You know what I'm saying? Go and watch it. Let's, I'll start up a stage and everything. If you ban, too bad, so sad. No, I'm so joking. What's your, what's your user, nigga? I don't mean. Damn. I'm going to keep immersed. Well, hurry, up t hurry up and tell your, tell your Discord. Do it on kick. Should I do it on kick? I could actually. I could actually. I could. Alright, hold on. Let me set it up. I'll be right back. <laughs> 